you guys might know that the only social media site that I use is Twitter and I do have the Android app on my phone as expected. Now the official Twitter app does have some drawbacks or should we say lack some features that has made many developers over the years develop Twitter clients that is alternative apps that you can use to access your Twitter feed and guys over the years including myself have been using these third-party apps from the likes of Hootsuite and what have you. Now for this video I sampled some five popular Twitter client apps from the Play Store to explore and I have identified a favorite one that will be replacing the official Twitter app on my phone so let's get started. So now what makes me want to consider some of these other Twitter apps? You know, Twitter can get quite long like any other social media out there. And also these apps are designed to kind of load forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> and what I want is just simple features to make my experience faster in terms of, you know, getting to the content that I actually want to see. And basically some sort of decluttering mechanism in as far as ads and uh, mumble jumble content in Twitter is concerned. Let me give you an example. One of the main issues that actually bugs me when using the official Twitter app is the fact that when I click someone's profile, you see there's a tab for tweets, there's another tab for tweets and replies, then there's media and likes and so on. Most times the reason I get into someone's profile is I want to see what they've tweeted. But when you scroll through the typical Twitter profile, you know guys keep on retweeting and replying to other tweets. I don't understand why Twitter would not just make the tweets tab, you know, only the tweets from this particular individual. I don't know, maybe you guys can comment down below, but there's even an option to like sort of filter out these tweets, but it doesn't seem to like work exactly the way I'd like it to. And another issue is over here on my homepage, I know you can actually switch to see the most recent tweets first, but somehow Twitter just decides that, you know, the algorithm based home is better. And still, even when I keep my timeline on the recent tweets first, I still can't just get a lot of tweets that I'm probably not interested in. I think it's just because, you know, once you follow a bunch of people here and there, they're retweeting stuff. A lot of them are promoting this and that. And yeah, somehow the official Twitter app just tends to wear you down and I uh, just don't like it. Now, what are some of these other options that I've been looking at? There are apps that have either been suggested or are popular on the Play Store. And the first one is called Albatros. So now the nice thing with Albatros is from the outset you can see that it gives you already some sorting options and so you could decide to just check replies and retweets and login and I'll only have my timeline with tweets from guys that I follow. The login is actually quite fast and it does follow the phone's theme like the dark theme that I use over here. And once you are done spending a bunch of time scrolling down Albatros, you can see that there's an option to quickly go back up right down here, which actually changes to compose tweets and you can use that to compose a tweet. The menu that pops right here from the left gives you options to go to your scheduled tweets, direct messages, lists and what have you. And I just noticed that for most of these apps in the direct messages, I only get my two recent DMs. So I don't know whether it's just a limitation of these third party Twitter clients or it's something to do with some of the apps that I've checked out. And by the way, that said, I believe that the fact that you have to come and look for your DM somewhere on the left pop in menu is uh, actually not quite nice because especially if you'd like to quickly see your DM, I believe they could have just done a button somewhere down here. Anyway, they were going for some minimalist vibe and uh, I get it, but I'd take that as a con. So another app that I did check out is called Friendly for Twitter. And here it is. Once you open it, it's already asking you whether you want to display notifications. And these are the issues that I'm actually trying to avoid. So yeah, let's say no. Now here right away you can see that this friendly for Twitter is actually basically just a wrap, you know, of the website. But yeah, mm -hmm, I get it because the concept with friendly is the fact that they want you to kind of use it to access several other social media sites using the same app. Like you can see down here, Instagram, Facebook, and what have you. You can add TikTok, Tumblr, and so on. So now then, would I consider this a Twitter client? Probably not, but yeah, it does exist. You can see that it's white over here. It doesn't really go with the dark theme that I've set my phone to. And another issue I noted is this friendly for Twitter was actually said to be ad free. But when you scroll your timeline over here, be ready to meet hundreds of ads. So yeah, you can be sure that this is not what I'm looking for. 
Let's check out another one. Um, this is Tweetcaster now. Too bad, again, here we have another bummer. This Tweetcaster didn't even log in. I tried to log into Twitter and authorize the app, but it just doesn't want to get through. It keeps on bringing me back to the login page. And so even without proceeding further, Tweetcaster is out of contention. Next, let's check out Plume. Plume for Twitter. Now for Plume, I noticed that once I logged in, it already started asking me for my location and promising ads. Imagine. Then I don't seem to find a quick way to actually get my account out of it if I want to like switch out to another app. But that's it, just like many other Twitter apps, including the official app, this Plume makes no attempt at all to minimize my Twitter timeline. This basically tells you that you're going to be having a super long timeline that you'll be scrolling for hours, not knowing at what point in time you are. And basically, this is the sort of clutter that we've been trying to avoid. Once we click a specific profile, you can see here we have these guys called Mathri Root and they have a whole million tweets. <laughs> a million tweets and... And, and if we do the turn off retweets, yeah, I think this is basically just like the official Twitter app. It doesn't seem to work quite fine because you'll still be met with a bunch of retweets here and there. So Plume is good, I think, but not for me, not for me. Now let's check out another app. Here we are. This one is called Twidere, <laughs> probably Twitter. Now, one interesting feature that I noticed with Twitter is that it actually gives you an option to select whether you'd like to have your timeline auto refresh before you even log in. And this is nice because like for me, I actually do like most recent tweets first, just like Elon Musk, by the way. <laughs> and what about our test? Does it give us the option to filter out tweets? Yes, it does. Once you're in someone's profile, you can actually select the menu and uh, click enable retweets or disable retweets and yeah it will actually show you the person's tweets only and not retweets if you'd like that. There's also a bunch of other options to enable notifications, add to filter, mute a user, and so many other things. This actually gives you a bunch of features that you probably won't get from the official app. My general experience with Twitter is that it was actually less cluttered. This seems to me like, I don't know, maybe it's because it's white <laughs> in color, but it's you know, less in your face. But I wish they'd have included an option to quickly scroll back up like what Albatros has done. So yeah, that can be an issue. And over here on the trending hashtags, I'm sure it's an issue with the location. It doesn't really know my location. So you get a bunch of strange hashtags that are trending somewhere. But that's the case even with other apps, not unless you actually do specify your location. And some of these clients do ask for the location before you log in. I think that was Plume. So yeah, that's a con that I believe Twitter would do well to look into. Twitter does give you some nice tabs up here. One for your notifications, another for trending hashtags and your inbox, which is awesome. But just one thing that I'd probably like is to have a search button somewhere up there. Instead of having it in the menu that you'd have to access by scrolling in from the left. That would kind of make searching a one-click operation, especially if you're actually using your phone with one hand. So now guys, after using these five popular clients, what am I switching out to? My favorite client is actually Twitter. Or Twitter. <laughs> Just because Twitter does provide solutions to the issues that I mentioned from the outset, and they include making the timeline less cluttered and giving me easy options to filter out my tweets. I'd say that my second favorite would be Albatros, then Plume in that order, then Friendly probably and Tweetcaster just cause you know, it didn't even log in. Yeah guys, if you do use another Twitter client, comment down below. I'm interested in knowing what you guys use. And that said, if you found this video helpful, please, smash that like button and if you're not yet subscribed welcome aboard thank you for watching see you in the next one and as always no pressure